I've been carrying backpacks for everyday carry for several years, and while there's been quite a few backpacks that I've enjoyed, there always seemed like I was making some kind of concession. The Maxpedition Rift Point, as a recent example, was a nice, small, compact pack that felt pretty good to carry around most of the time, but the straps were thin, and any time I loaded it out, it was pretty uncomfortable up in here. Other packs had ample storage, but were a bit overkill for everyday use, and sometimes had pockets that just weren't very useful or well laid out. The 8x25 is an interesting answer to that, combining a solid mid-range degree of storage with the capacity of 25 liters, with some excellent admin pockets and tech sleeves that I'll show you in a minute. At first, the square design was something that turned me off a bit. Most of the bags I'd used prior were a bit sleeker and rounder, but very quickly as I started using it, I realized that came with a few distinct advantages. First, the square exterior makes noticeably more room for the front admin pockets. Laptops and tablets, of course, fit way better in that rear compartment that's shaped like they are. With a rounded design like some of the other bags that I've used, you're losing the functionality on the top few inches for it to taper off. Because the pack is sharing capacity between that tech sleeve and the main compartment, the main compartment isn't as big and cavernous as some of the similarly sized bags that I've used before could be. But I find as an everyday bag, it's plenty. This isn't a pack you would bring into the back country with you, it's obviously just meant as a commuter bag and around town kind of thing. And for daily life, the combination of features that this offers is pretty great. Padded laptop sleeve with an additional sleeve for keyboards or tablets to go with it and that stops below the bottom of the bag that protects it from if you set the bag down hard, you're not worried that the laptop is going to smash on the ground. Check. Main compartment on the inside with hook and loop all the way up the back so that you can stick on any kind of Velcro accessories to help with organization. Check. Spacious interior zip bags and a really excellent admin pocket on the outside. Heck yeah. Large, comfortable shoulder straps that take a lot of padding, take a lot of the pressure off of your shoulders with a sternum strap that, by the way, has a whistle built into it. One less thing you got to carry around with you. Really the only con I can think of as far as the design of this as I used it is that it doesn't have any exterior water bottle pouches and so you are reliant on sticking them on the inside. Now on the very bottom, There are little pouches on the side here that you can stick a water bottle, and they work pretty well, uh, keeping the water bottle from sloshing around on the inside, but of course that is taking up some of your inside space. Opinions are going to vary on that, obviously. I went into it thinking that was going to bother me more than it ultimately did, and I think it's probably because I had been using a 15 liter bag as my everyday bag. And so 25 liters of this just gave me enough extra space that I didn't feel like I was running out of room to keep the water bottle in there. This is some of the best organization I've ever seen in an everyday bag that I've used. In fact, let's really have a closer look at that admin pocket. To me, it's really exceptional, and it's far superior to any bag that I've owned thus far. It's tall enough for pens, multi-tools, small notebooks, and the elastic ribbing allows you to create handy setups for exactly the items you find yourself grabbing the most often. Other bags that I've tried sometimes had more pockets, but the pockets weren't as well executed. In some bags it was like they had a bunch of pockets in the very front panel, but they were just like loose pouches that you could dump stuff in and then it was a disaster as things fell around and if you try to reach your hand in there you're rooting around trying to find the thing that you stuffed in there amidst other stuff it just wasn't any good and i found i never used any of those pockets and then it's just extra crap on the bag the high visibility interior of this bag is a sharp goldenrod yellow color which i find contrasts really well with the heathered gray exterior or if you get this in the multi-cam option I've actually not had uh, that kind of high contrast interior in a bag before, and I find it looks really sharp, and it is helpful. Even in bright, sunny environments, it's not only useful in like a low light situation. Um, none of the items that I would put in my bag are this kind of yellowish color, uh, so it just makes everything stand out really well. Now in the last year or so, I've found a greater need for my bags to kind of double as being a dad bag. Now I'm sure any dads can appreciate if you're into backpacks that you don't want your baby bag to look like a baby bag while you're carrying it around. And a lot of the bags that are sold in stores in the baby section for that 
they don't look that great from a style standpoint. Uh, they're not very rugged looking, etc. Sometimes they focus so much on being good for carrying diapers, they're actually not very good backpacks in any other ways. So for me, this is great for that reason as well. It's a stylish looking bag that I can carry all of my normal things that I would want to carry around with me on a daily basis from my tech to my preparedness gear, but it's also very convenient. For stuffing things like diapers or a little wipes case or sunblock. Sometimes those little food pouches. Uh, some fruit I can store loosely at the top here or I can put it in these zip bags and I usually carry some kind of snacks uh, in this top area here. Often the snacks are for me, little power bars, mints, things like that. But this pack, this pouch is ample enough uh, that you could put pouches of food or any kinds of little bars or snacks for a baby very really easily. And I just find that that makes being on the go all the simpler. And because these are extremely ample uh, padded straps on the back here. I have never been in a scenario where the bag started to get really uncomfortable, uh, more so than any bag would. When I've had an afternoon where I've been walking around outside in a downtown area for an hour or two, uh, or if I've been hiking a trail or something and I have a bag like this on, it can get a little cumbersome after a while. But I find that with most bags, uh, with the exception of the VanQuest Ibex 26, which I'll talk about in my next video, uh, I just find that that carries a little higher. Obviously, Mint is more of a hiking pack, and you really don't feel the weight in that bag. Uh, but most of the bags that I have used have been more, uh, less designed for hiking and more for everyday or tactical use, and so you feel that after a while. But insofar as that's the case with any bag, this bag does an excellent job of not reminding you that you're wearing a backpack the whole time you're wearing it, and I find that really helpful. This is definitely more comfortable than the Rift Point that I had been using uh, for quite a while as my everyday bag. And that sternum strap doesn't make a huge difference, but I find it does help if I've got this loaded down. Uh, if you've never carried a laptop or something in a backpack, you'd be surprised how much heavier that suddenly makes the pack. You could do your load out of all of your normal everyday gear uh, with your cords and accessories and stuff and put the pack on and think, wow, that's not even too bad. And I can put diapers and things for my son in here and still think, yeah, that's pretty light. And then the minute I put my 13 inch MacBook in here and I put it on, I'm like, whoa, that suddenly you know has some more heft to it. So you definitely, when you're looking at a bag uh, for tech gear, want to make sure it has some of the features that this bag does. Namely that it's soft uh, on the inside like this is and terminates above the bottom of the bag, uh, which this does. And of course you want to have uh, some form to the backing, which this does. It's not like super rigid, but the padding between the laptop area and your back is pretty decent. It's pretty substantial. That makes it so that your back isn't like hitting into the laptop while it's in here and it gives it enough structure that it's not falling over. Or you're not worried that anything is gonna bump or scuff the, the laptop while it's in here. And another thing that I really like about this bag compared to some bags that I've had is it has a square bottom on it, meaning for the most part, it does stand up on its own. As you can see, it slouches forward here a little bit. Um, that's really the only other con I can think of for the bag other than that water bottle uh, situation is if you don't have this front pocket really loaded out with something kind of rigid or form creating, which often I don't because it's got little pouches on the very bottom here. But most of what I put in here probably only comes up to like here-ish, so to find something that's as tall as that might be tricky. And unless you have something kind of creating rigidness right there, uh, it does have a tendency if you've got this top loaded out and it's heavy to slump forward a little bit just to be aware of. Like I showed you, it still stands up on its own and I find that to be a really nice feature. Um, none of the recent bags that I've used in the last couple of years will stand up on their own. Um, so I was really happy to see that. It's not a huge deal. I mean, you can't always just lean the bag up against the chair next to you where you're sitting if you have to. Uh, but some of the bags I've had even doing that, the bottom will give out on and it'll kind of slide away. It'll be like this and then the next thing you know, the bag's on the floor. And so just having a bag that stands up on its own is 
just a little box to check on top of a whole bunch of other things that I think this bag does really well just contributes to that overall feeling of like, yeah, this is a really nice bag to, to wander around with day to day. This top strap, it's okay. Uh, it's probably one of the weaker points of the bag on an otherwise extremely well designed uh, setup. Other bags I've used have had a rounded uh, kind of top here. This doesn't dig into the hand too bad, but if it were a little bit rounder, I think that would be better. I've seen another video where a gentleman wrapped paracord around it to give it that rounded feel. I might end up doing something similar myself. Um, I do like that anytime you get a VanQuest bag, they give you the extra Spartan uh, red pull tabs, but I do use it on my main compartment here just to kind of visually signal to myself when I have all of the pulls from the different compartments kind of near each other, then I can tell, okay, this is the admin pocket, this is the tech pocket, this is the main compartment just by color coding in the middle. Uh, I find that's a little helpful for me. Um, but that's a nice throw in. In an age where every time you buy something, companies are always wanting you to buy this extra accessory that goes with it. It's nice anytime a company just throws in something like that for you for free, as is they include uh, this Velcro setup in the bags as well. Now, obviously, it's meant for storing a handgun uh, that you could slide in right there. I don't conceal carry with a handgun uh, generally in my bag, and so what I use it for is a glasses case, uh, my, my shades for when it's real bright out. I always have those with me, and I can slide that in right there, and then right next to it, uh, I have a multi-tool that's a, uh, a Leatherman Charge Plus. That works most of the time and it slides right nice into this sleeve and because I can stick it kind of up near the top here, it's easy to grab without being in the way of all of the other stuff that I've got in here. So anyway, I don't want this to be a super long video. That's the bulk of what I wanted to say about this bag. I highly recommend it. It's one of the nicest everyday bags uh, that I have used to date. Um, I know it's not a new bag. It's been out a while, so some people may have already heard about it, but if you haven't, or, or we're looking to see what it looks like on. Uh, I'm about 5'9", and so you can see what it looks like on me as I'm spinning around here. I don't find that it's overly boxy or cumbersome to look at. Um, it's not overly heavy. It's a really durable material without being overly rough. Um, just a really nice setup. All right, guys, well, I'll catch you in the next video. And if you have any questions about this bag that I didn't address in the video, go ahead and throw them below, and I'll do my best to answer them.